two and roughly about a year ago I was traveling in Pakistan by myself on a motorcycle and I love the country. I think it's great. So I wanted to give you five reasons why you should go to visit Pakistan next year. Number one, mountains and incredible views. I'm not a city person, I'm a nature person so mm. Pakistan is amazing in that way. It has three big mountain ranges coming together, namely the Himalayas, the Karakoram and the Hindu Kush. And they all come together at one point, which is already amazing. Two, it has some of the highest mountains in the world, like the K2 and the Nanga, Nanga Prabat, which I still can't pronounce, but I hope I did it right. Um, so that means that there are some incredible views over there. Uh, if you start from the capital, Islamabad, and drive up north over the Karakoram Highway, you will see mountains, glaciers, wild rivers, and so much more that it will be a road trip you will never forget. You can ride all the way up to uh, the Chinese border, which is the highest border crossing in the world, I think. I have to check. Along the way, you will visit beautiful places like Hunza, which was definitely one of my favorites on this trip, which is also known as Little Switzerland, which has a beautiful view of the Nanga Prabhat with a fort on top of the mountain. And it's great to see the Chinese influences and the Tibetan influences. And it's just, it's really pretty. If you have more time, more time than me, then you must visit other valleys like the Swat Valley and the Skardu Valley. And here, let me show you some. Isn't that amazing? So that's reason number one. Reason number two, delicious food. If you like Indian food, you'll definitely like Pakistani food. Um, it's very similar, very spicy, a lot of curries and a lot of rice, but a very, a lot of variety, a lot of vegetables. It's just overall really good, trust me. Number three, very friendly people. I know, uh, if you watch the news, you wouldn't think that, but um, Pakistani people are actually incredibly friendly. They are so happy to see foreign people traveling in their country, exploring their culture, their sites and their land, that they are incredibly grateful that you're there. So one, they all want to take a selfie with you and two, they will invite you into their home and you will experience a enormous amount of hospitality. Number four, no crowds at tourist attractions. And for me, this is a really big plus because I traveled for about 40 days in Pakistan and met probably about 10 foreigners. Then I traveled one day in India and I met about a um, hundred foreigners. So for me, that was just, so relaxing that you really feel like an explorer in this country. There will be a lot of Pakistani tourists because they really like to travel in their own country, but it's still not super crazy. But otherwise, no, no foreign crowds and that is perfect for me. And the last reason, reason number five, is that it's safe to travel. I know if you watch the news, you think that there's a bombing every single week in every single city, but that's not true. And if I watch the news, I think there's a mass shooting every single day in every single city in the US. That's also not true. So as long as you use your common sense, uh, don't travel alone where people tell you not to travel alone. Listen to the locals and follow their advice, then you will be fine. That's it, really. I, I travel by myself on my motorcycle as a woman and I had no problem whatsoever. I felt completely safe. I know so many people who traveled there either by motorcycle, by bicycle, by car, and they all had an amazing experience. So trust me, put this country on your travel to-do list for next year. So yeah, in my opinion, it's safe to travel as long as you use your common sense and do your research. That's it, that was my list. I hope I convinced you to go and visit Pakistan. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did or leave a comment down below what your favorite reason is to go to Pakistan. If you like this video, make sure you share it with your friends and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Lots of love. Bye.
A big shout out to my Patreon supporters, you are amazing. If you want to be in the creds too, go check out my Patreon page.